Unplug Grill. Remove grates, flame zone covers, pan, heat diffuser, and fire pot from grill. Using pellet dump door, empty pellets from the pellet hopper. Remove fan panel. There are seven screws on the side and two on the back. Make sure to hold the panel while removing the last screw. Unplug the hopper safety switch from the back of the pellet boss controller. Remove the wire tie. Remove the screw on the bottom of the fan bracket. Then gently pull fan and bracket out. You must lift slightly before pulling back. Be aware of the plastic grommet holding the wires which must be disconnected from the fan bracket. Then unplug the fan from the pellet boss controller. Remove the auger bracket screws on both sides of the outside of the grill using a 532nd Allen wrench. Unplug the auger motor from the pellet boss controller, then twist and pull out auger with auger bracket attached. If the auger is stuck, insert a screwdriver into the auger tube and tap gently with a hammer or mallet to free it up. Remove any debris attached to the auger and remove any remaining pellet material inside the auger tube and grill. Insert auger motor with attached bracket back inside the grill. Secure the auger bracket screws. Plug in auger to pellet boss controller. Plug in the fan wire to the pellet boss controller. Insert the fan with bracket. Insert the wire grommet into the fan bracket and tighten the screw to the fan bracket. Bread tie the cables together. Reattach the hopper safety switch to the pellet boss controller. Attach the fan panel with the seven screws on the side and two on the back. Install the fire pot, heat diffuser, pan, flame zone covers, and grate back into the grill. Please note that it will take longer for your grill to start because the auger tube will have to fill with new pellets.